Charles you for another tutorial today we are going to learn how to make this little cover for an Instagram carousel so I've worked on a lot more carousels recently and um, I decided to go with another style you know since last time when if you followed the channel for a while if you know that I created some you know Instagram carousel templates that you can still download for free but um, the new ones are available for the paid kit but you don't have to you know have it so i'm going to tell you exactly how i do this cover if you want to basically if you know how to make the cover you kind of know how to make the template overall it's kind of the same stem same steps so you know once you know it you can replicate it and enjoy it for whatever carousel style you want uh, yeah this is basically you can see here the different styles the different not styles, but different variations of the, 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 the cover. Um, I use the same same background to keep, you know, um, a brand guideline, a, a brand style. But you can kind of understand how I do it. So let's let's try to replicate it up there. A lot of templates to go to. So what I'm going just to do is uh, copy paste it and move it on the side there. Perfect, let me just move it a little further. So we're going to use this title here. Basically when you, oops, I use this um, this background photo. I don't know exactly where I found it, but it's some kind of photocopy style texture. And I find it really cool. So I have a couple of them in file. I don't know if I have the right to share it, so I'm not going to do it just, you know, for safety reasons, <laughs> but yeah, if you can definitely, you can look it, look it up online. Maybe you would have some free uh, photogra photocopy texture packages that you can have for free maybe, or even on Unsplash, something like that. Maybe you can find some. And so I try to have something um, in this, this style, something pretty dark, but I like this little blur flare, like kind of thing, kind of light flare. Um, you have my, uh, website and my Instagram name here with my name here so that you know for copyright reasons so what I do usually is I start right away with the headline I try to also have some oops sorry some guidelines here so I usually put them around 400 so that I kind of have a centered centered title that always works so no matter the no matter the title in the cover I'm going to always have the same proportions throughout the whole carousels that I create so it's really important to have that so that you know your photos don't one becomes very big and one becomes very small and so here we need to work we need to work line by line you cannot just do like whatever you want you need to you cannot keep the same one same text for all of it you need to have line by line so what I like to do is for now we keep it white and I use this font Ligoric you can have it for free, I think, online. And what I basically try to do is simply feed the 100 into these two red guys. So I like this one here. It's not too big and it's not too small, so it's pretty pretty good. Then what I do is 100 hours, then secret. Here, I'm going to use my own little gradient here. So um, I can share with you the colors. Right there, you have this one here. Oh. You have this one here, and um, this one here. I find it pretty interesting, and you know, data shows that the colors that are the most eye-catching and that works the best are red, orange, and blue. So that's why for this one, I'm using the kind of red-orange tint, and it gives me this branding style that not a lot of people have. And I also use. I also use this one here, blue one, for other other styles. You can see. So let's go back to our little title here. So secret, you see that secret if I keep the same height, it doesn't work very well. So what I usually want to do is increase it until it it does work. So here is a little too much, so I'm going to adjust it. Maybe 700 would be good. 700 works. Then what I like to do is simply, you know, visually see if it's if the space is good or if it's a little too far away I sort of in between here 
perfect and then 100 hour secret and then to succeed perfect and this one you can see that it's a little too big so i'm going to go down maybe it's a little too small here yeah you see it's a lot of you know visual try and repeat i would say and yeah kind of get it um you can see here that i've added again some textures on it again i don't know if i can share them with you i mean legally so i'm not going to do it but you can look at look them up again it's just some texture like some dust texture for this one and you can it's really i, I don't know i like i really like the style it gives some depth um something on it that makes it very extra so now what you do is simply group them together then what i like to do just to be just to be sure is i like to make the height of the whole text because usually you can see with the the, the font that sometimes you have a lot of space and the space is unequal so i like to have a, a shape that that takes care of the whole you know that goes to the whole text and then center it and you can see that the difference is quite big so and then it's not it doesn't really have to you know be that exact it's not an exact sense and you know people don't really care that much as long as they can see that it's visually centered it's not a big deal if it's like five pixels difference or not and so you have it you have the whole little thing and this is usually how i work um once i have once i work on the whole carousels uh, you can see here let me show you real quick what i like to do is have one I, you can see that i've tried a lot of different styles and i've deleted a lot of them as well but what i like to do is usually i create one or two slides i mean one or two carousels and then what i like to do is use again those elements on other ones so that i don't need to rethink of the you know of the height of and the space of every elements on each design i can just i take this one here it is good for this one so i'm just going to drop it here or here you see here this, this the height is kind of similar to this one so this is usually how i work once i have that's why i really think that once you have the explanations on how i create this title here this cover for a carousel on instagram you are basically able to create the whole carousels as well because it's the same the same technique where you create you need to divide each you need to divide each line basically you need to register some of it well i'm going to show you how to it's super easy to save a gradient so a grain, let's let's do a random one. You go to you create a color, you create a shape, then you go to the fill, so you know, go then to li linear, then you choose a gradient. I don't know, random one here. Let's do this one and let's do that here. Then I'm going to change it to upper side, perfect. So maybe what I like to do is Maybe change it a little, you know, so it doesn't look like very black and white. I can also switch it up a little this way. It's really how you prepare it. And then once you have it, all you have to do is basically go on this four little thing here that's called style. Then you click on the cross, you name it. We can say sunrise, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and then you have it here. And so every time you would want to change the color you can just click again on this star icon here choose what you've created and you have it right there and you see it's, it looks pretty cool right it looks pretty interesting i kind of want to have it now because it's even better actually it's really cool <laughs> i was thinking about it uh, it's not really it's maybe a little too saturated for me but hey you have a new one for yourself let me share with you the colors the colors or you here you go this one and this one here little extra for you if you stayed with me the whole video you have that <laughs> that people others don't have and so that's all for this video i hope you liked it i will see you for the next one maybe another tutorials as well let me know in the comments what you would like to see next and yeah bye take care